What a way to make a comeback. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Steph Mayers. I do everything to do with travel, fashion and lifestyle with a sprinkle of luxury here and again. Um, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you guys. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and we go and tell a friend to come and subscribe too because that's what we do over here, referral systems. And if you're back, I really appreciate you guys and I really hope that you like this unboxing. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you head over to my Instagram to see everything else I rant on about or post over there, outfits, unboxings normally go there first before I have time to record obviously so if you do have an Instagram account make sure you're following me over there. So let's get right into the video. So I'll be unboxing an item but um, it didn't quite make it onto my wish list just because it hadn't been released yet I don't think. Um, I think it's been out for like just over a month now so when I filmed my um, luxury wish list 2021 it wasn't on there as it hadn't been released but it found its way near the top of my wish list and I was just like I needed this bag so if you've, you've already seen the title it's the coach tabby 26 um handbag and I've got it right here I don't know if you want to leave a comment below and guess what color I would have gotten or maybe I should talk you through the colors first um so the only colors that were on my radar were the pink the green and the orange um just because I've already got white and neutral bag so I didn't really want to get the beige bag even though I think that bag is beautiful the black was already ruled out for me because I know um the next black bag I want so I wanted um I was thinking about the pink but I already have a pink um handbag in my wardrobe and I can count how many times on one hand I've worn that handbag so the pink was just like even though you love it so much now I know I won't reach for it in like six months so it was narrowed down between the green and the orange and I just wanted to pop a colour so guess what colour um, I got make sure you leave a comment down below um, and I'm just gonna show you because I'm so excited <laughs> so I got it in the candid orange oh my god when i was thinking about this bag i promise you i slept i woke up i was like i need this bag i i swear to you it felt like god was speaking to me like you deserve this bag the universe and i don't even believe in astrology but the universe itself was saying get this bag so initially i wanted to get the green um i knew it was always going to be the green or the orange and um, the pink was there in a the back in a background but i was just like yeah the green or the orange because those were the favorite colors i liked out of the whole collection um with the green because we were moving away from um fall or autumn um i was just like how often will i pick up that green bag but with the orange i just knew it would complement my wardrobe so nicely i have a lot of whites a lot of beige a lot of neutral tones and when i go on holiday i love a pop of color i love listen if you follow me on instagram you know every day i have been putting this bag up because it reminds me of tulum tulum tell them i can never say it properly i need to actually google how to say it but yeah i can just see so many outfits there but anywho let's get into the unboxing and i'll talk you through the rest of it so i ordered this bag from wardow wardow i think they're a swedish or german brand wardow i don't know if you can see it there this is the box it came in i'm so happy that my bag made it safely to me because the box is in tatters <laughs> and this was shipped from germany if i remember correctly yeah so it, it was shipped from germany um the shipping process was okay um i remember checking it um because it, it got frozen on path parcel force for a couple of days i think it took all in all it took like four days to come but it wouldn't give me like the actual day was coming so i thought it was just going to take longer and my flatmate was like oh it's here and i literally ran out of my room screaming oh my god it's here so i'm kind of gutted i didn't get a box because i saw some people actually get a coach box but I'll live without it. I don't have any more space for boxes anyway. So this is how it comes. It comes all wrapped up like this. Oh, I thought I had scissors nearby. Backstory behind this bag. I was initially going to buy it when it first dropped and I was, everyone who would listen was hearing about the pillow tabby. It was on polls on my Instagram. It was on post of me dropping hints hoping like my significant other or somebody in the universe will get it for me so um but i just couldn't see myself paying the 500 pounds for it i wouldn't advise you to pay 500 pounds for this bag um just because coach always goes on sale like their their prominent design their main design which is the um coach tabby the original is always on sale i think it's currently on sale for like 290 right now i've seen it for 270 in some places so this bag even though it's like it right now and everything i wouldn't say you should buy this for 500 pounds so i bought it on wardrobe 
because they had a 20% code um, and I remember I was holding off because I wanted to get my first wishlist item first so I didn't want to buy it so when I found the code I just, I, I just parked it to the side and I was like okay cool maybe in the next week or so and um, I'll buy it and then my friend popped up and said oh she'd gotten the beige um, she's gotten the beige version um, from a different website called Fashionette and so I just shared the code with her I was like by the way um, it's cheaper here if you want to get it so she bought it and I was still holding off and everything and then Melissa's wardrobe the OG influencer started posting about it because coach has sent her a bag so obviously her followers were buying it and then you know her followers they will scorch the earth to find her some good news so literally um, one of her followers sent her oh yeah by the way Wardo's got 20% off da -da 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 -da. And as soon as I saw that, I tell you no word of lie, I was like, they're gonna, they're gonna sell out my bag. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to pay full price. No, 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 I'm not falling victim to this because it's happened to me before when her followers have found something. So I was literally like on the website, I'm like, I'm buying my bag right now. I'm not waiting for them to sell it out, um, which they actually did. They sold out Wardo and then they now moved on to Coggles. Um, but I did see that um, um, it came back in store. If you live in the UK, um, this was shipped over to me. I didn't pay any custom duties. I didn't pay any custom charges. So all in all, I paid £396 for this. So I'm just going to unravel it for you. I hope I am doing this in the best way possible. To be fair, I don't really care about this wrapping. Um, just trying to undo everything. Oh, look at the colour. Wait, sorry. I want to show you guys. Oh my God. I thought they sent me two bags because of this bit. I was like, what? Look at the colour of this bag, guys. Just look at the colour. I am so happy with my purchase. I am so, so, so happy with this. Look at that colour, guys. And that was one thing, like, I kept looking at it and trying to find, like, reviews and different pictures because I really hoped it was a true candied orange and not, like, a burnt orange or, like, a darker orange. I didn't want that. I wanted a candied, bright orange holiday orange and i love oh guys guys i haven't done an unboxing in a while so this is just taking everything out of me and i waited for you guys like this was delivered i think it was yesterday or the day before and i waited to unbox it with you guys so i haven't literally uh, literally all i've seen is the purple color i haven't even opened it so let's go through all of this let's take all this packaging off so they've just wrapped up i'm guessing um the strap yeah, so this is the strap, the long strap, and I'm guessing the short strap is here too, or is that all in one? Okay, um, either I'm missing something or it's somewhere else, but okay, so this is the long strap. I'm just gonna take it apart. Oh, okay, the short strap is all in here. It's all um, tied in together. I see this being a trend for a long time, or actually turning into one of their classic pieces, depending on how they move with the colorways. Just because, if you look at this bag closely, it reminds you of the Fendi baguette. Let me put the straps on and everything. But when you look at it closely, it literally um, mirrors the Fendi baguette for me. And that's why I really wanted it, because I wanted the Fendi baguette, but I didn't want to get the, I love the vintage cloth one, but the prices I was seeing, I'm not a mug, and I think I make that very clear on my channel, I, I won't do it. So I was seeing the cloth ones going for, well over 900 pounds i was like i'm not doing that when i saw this i was just like oh my god coach what a way to make a comeback oh guys i'm in love look at this color are you seeing this color right now imagine this on holiday guys keep you... oh anyway so back to it um it just really reminds me of the fendi baguette um shape mixing with the margella um i think it's a margella pillow bag so when I saw the combination of the two and I saw the color as well because I was after a proper color, I was just like, this is coming home to me. Nobody is convincing me otherwise. Because everyone was like, oh, why are you getting the orange? Why are you getting the orange? I was like, shh. If you don't understand things, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. You don't have to talk. You don't have to talk if you don't understand good things because to me, to me personally the orange steals the show the orange was the star of the show for me like don't get me wrong i really love the other colors and i would die god forbid i wouldn't die but i oh guys look <laughs> i'm so happy 
happy right now. I could combust. Guys, look at a bag. This is a bag. Are you not getting Fendi baguette from this or is it just me? Because I can see Fendi baguette right here for a third, even more than a third. It's made out of smooth Nappa leather. Um, the only thing I know, because when I was doing my research um, on how smooth the leather is and the Nappa leather, of course, it gives it this puffy texture and it's so smooth and buttery to touch. However, if you know anything about leather, especially lambskin, um, puffy leathers like this are prone to creasing. For the price point, I don't expect this to be like Chanel where creasing will happy, happen over time. I can already see like from a few touches, I'm seeing some creasing occurring, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and the, the reason why I think I'm even more sold on it is because if it's anything like the Fendi Baguette that over time as it ages and like flops and starts to look worn down, it looks even better. I would not be mad at this, especially for the price I paid when Fendi are trying to charge me up almost £2,000. Are you kidding me? Anywho, so it's got this like, um, it's gold hardware, but I don't, I wouldn't call it like, Oh, I don't know what I would call this. Is it like a brush gold hardware? But yeah, it's got this like gold, brush gold hardware all around. I love that the bag is predominantly leather and then you just see the um, hardware, little tones and elements of the hardware around the bag. I love that this clasp, this C clasp here, this is all the leather in, um, so it's got the leather on the C, which makes it for me. And then you can see the outline of the um, gold hardware around the clasp and it's a semi-magnetic. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did, let me do it for you again. Did you hear that? That alone for me is orgasmic. I'm sorry, because I have bags that the magnet isn't popping or the class takes a while to like find the hole. Maybe I'm just a bit pedantic or about stuff like that, but that is one of my pet peeves. So just knowing that the class, even if I'm not looking, it's back on. So anywho, let me open this up for you. So if I remember correctly, this is 27 centimeters. I will put everything on the screen um, for you below. And it's all leather on the inside. If you can see here, this is all leather on the inside, the same leather as the outside, the smooth Nappa leather. It comes with a dust bag, which is cute. However, coach, coach, come on. I know we're not paying that much, but you could have at least given us a better dust bag. What is this? It feels like, I don't even know what to call this, satin? It's not, anywho. I'm not mad at it. Nothing can put me off this bag. They've just stuffed it. I'll probably keep that and stuff it as well. But you can see inside it's all smooth um, leather on the linings here with the two compartments. And I'm telling you, a lot of stuff can fit in here. I can see it already. I've watched videos. It's also got um, a zipper compartment here, which is lined with cloth. And it's got the coach. I think this is the authenticity kind of document in here. And that's already, that's a large place. So I would put like my keys in here, any makeup items that I wouldn't want to like stain the leather or scratch the leather. So that's why I put my keys, my makeup in a little pouch and zip it up, up in here. Maybe my cars as well, if I don't want them to fall out. But guys, this bag is just, it's stupendous. Whoever sat down and thought, let's design this bag, they need a raise. Coach, you better be paying them in shares, okay? Because I'm sure your share price just went up. This bag is, a um, look at it. Thumbnail moment. Anywho, look guys, I'm gonna try and model it for you, but I will insert some mod shots. Um, I'm not sure you can see that. I will insert some mod shots, but oh, it's just such an it girl bag. Just imagine me on holiday with this bag, a couple of whites, a couple of greens, a couple of blues, and this orange. Okay, I need to calm down. I need to calm down, guys. Um, so yeah, it just comes with a tag as well on here. Obviously that's going to come off because this is not leaving me. And I'm so happy for my daughter that like I'm doing these things now um, in moderation because when she gets to that age, she's gonna have a really nice vintage collection. I'm so happy for her because I like, my mom doesn't really care about stuff like this. She really doesn't care about stuff like this, but she likes them. So I'm the one even prodding her into it. But my daughter is gonna be fly. She's going to be fly from young. This, this is transcendent, 
transcendent into different generations i promise you that my daughter is gonna wear the hell out of this bag i do not care <laughs> even if she doesn't want to wear it i'll force her she wears to church i don't know if you can see this but the handle is so the handle the shorter strap is so structured the long strap um it's also structured actually it's not as puffy as the shorter strap but it feels like um a really good leather again this is all prone to creasing i can already see the creasing um starting to show its face on the strap i don't know if you can see that but if you look closely you would see that this bag will definitely crease but we're not mad at that and i love how the gold hardware has like coach um the coach logo or coach name just going around it like there's coach on here if you look closely on other places as well there's coach all around on the gold hardware i really love that anything that would have elevated this bag for me if they found a way to put the c for coach or something here so whenever you had it over your shoulder you would see it like the dior saddle bag that that would have made me it, it would have made me part with a bit more of my money i promise you that because that just takes it to a whole new level but this but it's just so cute it's so squishy so pillowy literally it's as if fendi and margella had a baby and created this because this is the best thing okay wait i need to calm down it's one of the best things to come out of 2021 so far for me let me know what you think because i've met some people that don't love it they're not sold on it so yeah that's a shock to me but um <laughs> let me know what you think about this what color you'd get it in hopefully um on my next video it would have arrived by then i've just bought a gold chain off of um off of amazon slash aliexpress similar to the bottega clutch um pouch chain so it's just like a big chunky gold chain and what i'll do sometimes is swap out the short strap for that gold chain just to make it look just to take it to a whole new level because i could wear it crossbody like this I could wear it like this, I could wear it on a short strap like this and then I could also have the gold chain and wear it like that or I could just let the gold chain dangle over the side and make it that much cuter. I'm excited to see what this bag will look like over the years like as it deflates because coach, coach I hope you do watch my video, <laughs> I hope it comes across your desk but this is amazing like you have done an amazing thing right here and we are all thankful guys i can't wait i need to get on a boris let us out of this country i need to be on a holiday right now do you see this bag do you see this bag <laughs> okay i'm just gonna let you guys see it one more time before i head off Oh, okay guys i will definitely hopefully throughout the video i've inserted some mud shots i will definitely do that for you guys um and i'll probably have another video up on wear and tear and how i've worn it or you'll see it on one of my vlogs because i know i have to go out over the weekend so i'm sure i won't be able to leave this at home it, it will definitely make its debut this weekend but yeah guys i hope you've enjoyed the unboxing i'm sorry if it wasn't very well planned out i feel like i get really erratic when i start unboxing things i really like i hope you guys have liked it let me know down below if you like the coach bag if there's a color you're after or you're more of um a tabby girl instead of the pillow tabby so let me know down below what you think and leave any questions you'd like me to answer and i will definitely be up in the comments answering them for you if you've watched this far you know what i already say how do you come this far and you haven't subscribed like you should subscribe you should bring a friend over to come and subscribe too because that's what we do over here and if you're already subscribed you already know by now gangway i really appreciate you guys i hope you have a lovely week and i will see you in my next video bye guys